This is question 7 from paper 1 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. We're given a graph of a parabola, y equals x plus a all squared plus b. We know, we're, we know that the minimum on the graph is 2, negative 4. And we're asked to state the values of a and b, and also write down the axis of symmetry of the graph. First of all, let's have a look at an animation. So here we have an animation of a graph y equals x plus a all squared plus b, which is basically the graph in the question. And I'm able to change the value of b and change the value of a. Initially, the way this is set up, I've got b being value 0 and a has, having value 0. x plus 0 is just x, so that's x squared plus 0 just x squared. So this is y equals x squared. You can check that that works. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 2 squared is 4. This is showing the graph y equals x squared. So let's first of all start changing the value of b. So we're going to look at y equals x squared plus b. Let's increase the value of b. Watch the graph. Let's increase to 1, to 2, to 3, to 4. And I think you realise that the heights of the graph are moving up parallel to the y-axis. So, when in, for instance, when b is 2, all the heights have gone up to where it used to be 0. The height is now 2, where it used to be 1. It's now 3, and where it used to be 4, it's now a way up at 6. So all the heights of the points on this graph have moved 2 units up parallel to the y-axis. So that's the effect of being, and similarly if there we're subtracting, for instance, 2 at the end, y, uh, y equals x squared minus 2, all the heights of the points on the graph down 2 units down three units, four units. So that's the effect of altering the value of b, up, down, parallel to the y-axis. Let's alter the value of a. Let's move a up to a value of 1. Now, this possibly is counterintuitive, where we add 1 to x, the graph is moved to the left, not to the right. Adding 2, adding 3, adding 4. So that when we add positive numbers, the graph has moved to the left. When we add negative numbers or subtract values from x, the graph moves to the right. There's x minus 4. So let's recap. Numbers at the end up and down parallel to the y-axis, numbers added to x, to the left, parallel to the x-axis, numbers subtracted from x, to the right, um, parallel to the y-axis. So the graph in the question, if you have a look at that, it's moved to the right by 2, so we'd be subtracting 2, having a value a equals negative 2, and it's down 4, so the minimum point is at 2, negative 4. So we'll need to give b value negative 4. I think you'll agree, looking at your picture in your question, that that's the same graph. So let's go back to the question now. So moving the graph 2 units to the right parallel to the x-axis, a is equal to negative 2. And then moving all the heights down by 4 units, b is equal to negative 4. So there's the two values. Now the final one, write down the equation of the axis of symmetry of the graph. Axis of symmetry is a line, vertical line, parallel to the y-axis, passing through 2, negative 4. 
every point on that line has an x-coordinate of 2. That's the equation of the line. So equation of the axis of symmetry, x equals 2.